We are what we make of ourselves. We will no longer fit into the mold that has been prepared for us. When I was a kid, I was actually kicked out of several different schools. But one of the things I remember is that nobody really understood uh, a young African-American male who uh, had behavior problems as a result of fatherlessness. Well, another case of deadly gun violence in a Pasadena community. At least three people are dead and two others wounded, and police say it all started as a feud between rival gangs. The drug dealings, it wasn't hidden. That's what I think was the strangest thing about the store. It was almost like the backdrop of a movie or something. Like everything, nothing was hidden. So imagine every bad thing was meeting here. Once the store was no more, there was a sense of safety that was enough to where you can start focusing on the people and how do we better ourselves, how do we take advantage of an opportunity to advance. And that was hope for a lot of people. This intersection uh, was once called Blood Corner, uh, had the highest daytime crime rate uh, in all of LA County. And that community garden across the street was once a liquor store uh, that was the epicenter of all of that crime uh, in this community. And John Perkins decided that he wanted to live here to bring about change uh, and transformation and the lives of people who desperately needed it. There's quite a few kids whose family, like beyond the kid, but the families also have a lot of needs. And so they've spent a lot of time figuring out how to address the needs of the student, but also trying to find ways to support the families. And since you're a part of the community, like making sure that they look out for look out for you and help you in whatever way that they can, whether that means, you know, financial assistance or whatever it could be. That's the missing component. So when I say, uh, even through philanthropy, when somebody can make someone else's problem, their problem, we have a better chance at solving it because it was no longer their problem, it's now our problem. And so how do we get back to oneness and, and uh, not being divided by all of the things that the world has sort of given us to be divided on, uh, but to love one another. Please. 
First place, first place, first place. This was like the starting point for me to be able to move on to, you know, crossing the Christian Mayor and Asa, then I went to Cal State Northridge, and I went to USC. But it all started, you know, with here, and without those scholarships and the assistance that I got here, I wouldn't have been able to, you know, go on to the other places, so. So now, what else made that sick? We got to stay in this little community long enough that we can win some of the young people to Jesus Christ. We got to nurture them in their faith. We got to help them to get a love for God, love for themselves, and a love for the community. That's a greater love than consumerism and materialism. We're gonna to have to help them stay in school, tutor them, nurture them, and then help them to go through high school, go off to college, get some skills, and come back to this community and change this community. never discourage but always encourage our brothers and sisters, then we will join hands and move together to change our society. We are what we make of ourselves. We will no longer fit into the mold that has been prepared for us. I was somebody when I came here and I will be a better somebody when I leave. I am powerful and I am smart. I deserve the education that I get here at school. I have things to do people to impress, and places to go. Why? Because I am somebody. 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 Kids that pass through around they know more than anything that here lies a place where I am loved.